Please pretend this is a microphone. Is <laughs> a good reason, other than I'm mental. <laughs> <laughs> so a couple of years ago, I worked at the BBC as a TV researcher, and now I'm here on this stage, um, unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> so it's either I'm a lame researcher or I fucked the wrong guy. <laughs> and the lame fuck <laughs> bad combo <laughs> I think sometimes I misunderstand men here maybe because uh, Englishmen and Italian men are quite the opposite he, he, men here are afraid of complimenting women oh you look good in that dress it is sexual assault <laughs> in Italy men have to prove they are manly whenever they say something nice to the opposite sex so in Italy, this is the typical father-little daughter conversation. Hey, Daddy, how do I look in my present costume? <laughs> oh, honey, I'll shag you till your ears come off. <laughs> <laughs> is that, um, you know, I want to work for a non-profit organization for a little while, and then I turn to comedy. Oh yeah, I'm all about the money. <laughs> <laughs> I think it kind of matches my low self-esteem. This is what happens when you have bloody issues, which inevitably leads to abusive relationships and junky food. And I don't know which one is the worst. I mean, at least bad relationships to give you pimples at the tender age of 44 years old. <laughs> I mean, I'm old. I'm so old that if I get pregnant, doctors will call me elderly primi gravida, which is a medical term to say that my womb is drying up like sunset goods. Maybe this lack of confidence has something to do with the fact that I keep dating broke men. Which is funny because people tell me I look Russian all the time, and of course I take it as a compliment because they're hot. <laughs> but they're like the premium version of me. <laughs> I know my name is. <laughs> but if I were a real Russian, I would not wear this pants somewhere, you know, with the with the writing, you know, rock stars only, but with the writing oligarchs only. <laughs> <laughs> or tycoons only if I really have to settle for less. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't look Italian and I don't act like one, but I'm here tonight to break your Italian woman stereotypes, okay? And to embarrass myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I had a bit of adolescence, because I was 13 when I came out to my family, and you know, my country is not big on open mind, open mindness, it's just not a cup of Prosecco, so... <laughs> <laughs> I said, Mom, Dad, I have to tell you something. I know it is going to upset you, but I can't live this lie anymore. I mean to... Uh, I mean to... Overcook pasta. <laughs> <laughs> I know society expects me to like pasta al dente, but this is just not the way I am. <laughs> I don't need to apologize for that. <laughs> so, if anyone in the audience feels the same way, please join me at the Overcooked Pasta Pride next weekend. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate it. <laughs> why I'm a social pariah as much as mormons who can stand children or a vampire with black phobia. <laughs> I'm not even loud. People can barely hear me as I speak, like right now. You can barely hear me. Uh, so this is not a stage equipment. I have to speak into a microphone on a daily basis just to be heard. <laughs> but if they can make you happy, I'm jealous. I'm jealous of my boyfriend. But not cute jealous like, oh, that means she really likes me. No, I mean, Sicilian jealous. I mean, Lorena Bobbitt jealous. <laughs> okay. And being jealous in Italy sucks. It is torture because men flirt by default. <laughs> it's endemic. They will flirt with their own mother. <laughs> but then Freud got in the way. <laughs> <laughs> so I spend most of my time side eyeing other girls like that. <laughs> and sometimes I give, I give them very subtle inputs, so, such as <laughs> <laughs> or like uh, <laughs> 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 
see, I just see you little dogs, okay? <laughs> he's another Italian cliche, he's another Italian stereotype. So, who am I kidding? I mean, I'm, I'm really failing at this thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm a living cliche, okay? Thank you, guys. I just wanted to say, pasta, mandolino, mamma, ciao! <laughs> <laughs>